What we now have is evidence that chemical weapons have been used inside of Syria, but we don't know how they were used, when they were used, who used them. We don't have a chain of uh, custody that establishes what exactly happened. And when I am making decisions about uh, America's national security and the potential for taking additional action uh, in response to chemical weapon use, I've got to make sure I've got the facts. Good afternoon and welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. That was President Obama on Syria Tuesday in remarks that blur the so-called red line that he talked about in regards to chemical weapons attacks. Hoover Institution fellow and prolific author Fuyad Ajami is here to comment. Um, Fuyad, does anyone in the Assad regime fear this White House when the president sets a red <coughs> line and then ignores it? None whatsoever. I don't think anyone in the region worries about President Obama. He set out to be loved. And in the end, he was neither loved nor feared. And I think like when you try, when you stand up and say, we have to establish the chain of custody, you know, I'd love to see the translator in the, in the presidential palace of Bashar al-Assad trying to translate to the president, to the dictator, to the Syrian dictator in his bunker, what the term, the chain of custody of chemical weapons is all about. Well, Charles Krauthammer joked about it. He said, it's like CSI Damascus. Yeah. It's ridiculous to think that you can establish a chain of custody in yeah. a war zone. Um, there is, however, news in these last hours that we might start to provide lethal aid to Syria's rebels. Um, how easy or difficult will this be? Can you speak a little bit about the, the rebel movement inside the country? Well, we had to, we had to really arm these people. It, we had to do it months ago. We had, this is the third year of the, of the rebellion in, in Syria. And the Obama administration hid behind the argument that we don't know the rebels. We don't know who they are. We don't know if they're fundamentalists or not. Are they jihadists? And in the end, we begot the very outcome, if you will, we dreaded and hid behind. The rebellion in Syria was radicalized. The Nusra Front, these groups that came, converge on Syria from other Islamic lands. So we are there. I mean, we, we are there because we willed that very same outcome indirectly. We did not arm this rebellion. We left it. To the, to the jihadists and we left it to other people. You know, the, the implication of the White House's statements and State Department sure. statements has been that, well, if we just wait this out, uh, Assad will fall. Yes. The rebels, whoever they are, will defeat him. Yes. Three years in, um, how do you see this playing out? Could he stay in power? Well, you know, it's amazing because two year, about almost like two years ago, the, the White House began to say that Bashar al-Assad is a dead man walking. We were always waiting for deliverance. We were always waiting. Perhaps Bashar al-Assad will, you know, somehow or another, he may, he may make a run for it. He will leave to Russia. He will leave to Iran. He will leave to Venezuela. He didn't do so. We didn't get it done ourselves. And we somehow or another, we trusted that the gods and the elements will do, will do it. Well, the, the big concern, at least from the U.S. perspective now, are those chemical weapons yes. and who has them, how they might be used again. Um, are, are you confident that we know where these weapons are and are they safe from, say, the jihadist elements uh, of the rebel factions? Well, you know, Mary, we really don't know much about Syria. That's the truth of the matter. I mean, Syria is this box which we hadn't really penetrated. President Obama came in in 2009 convinced that we could sweet talk Syria into a pro-Western coalition. Well, we so, did, so did John Kerry. Yes, I mean, oh, Kerry, definitely. Kerry lauded Assad. Oh, definitely. You know, Kerry was a, a buddy of Bashar al-Assad and Kerry and Mrs. Kerry spent a lot of time with Bashar and his lovely uh, first lady and uh, tried to convince everyone that this is a very moderate man. So we don't really know much about Syria. And I think we, have, we better have information about these chemical weapons. We should have that kind of information and we should have it, you know, very promptly. We better have information about the chemical weapons. Well, one certainly hopes so. Hoover Institution Fellow, Fuyad Ajami.